GBH TV is brought to you by Grand Blank CTE. Hey guys, it's Brian Zlin with another episode of What's Up GB. And now introducing our special guest. What's up GB? I'm Jaden, and as you know, we have exams next week. We are going to be going around and asking teachers and students how they feel about it. What stresses you out about midterms? The thing that stresses me the most about midterms is the fact that I just taught you for six exams that can make or break my grade. Right, what's so stressful about midterms for you? Uh, midterms is stressful because you gotta have midterms, finals, SATs, yeah. This is kind of stressful all in one year. And then plus, I don't have that good of a memory, so you kind of forget a lot of stuff. I completely agree with that. Yeah. Uh, having to study a lot. I guess it's just your grade all depends on like, and is influenced by those three days. They're not a wide span. It's like you have to cram everything in that you've learned all year into three days. Not knowing that my content. Uh, just the test itself, it sounds hard. Well, the fact that all my teachers are giving me tests the week before midterms, so I don't even have time to study for the midterms because I'm too busy studying for all the tests that I have this week and all the missing work I have to turn in. Everything. Just like how big of a percentage of our grade it is. Making time to study. All right, what stresses you out about midterms? That I don't study and I know I'm going to fail. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm going to get a bad grade and I'm going to fail. That stresses me out. I'm stressed out right now because you brought on midterms. It's just a really big test. You're in there for a while. You know, you get tired and wear out. The amount it's worth on your grade. Studying. Why does studying stress you out? Because I don't like doing work. What stresses you out about midterms? Mr. Moore. <laughs> so what's something you can tell students to help them with their midterms? Uh, I always tell my students that they should take the same information that they've already learned and do something new with it. So same info, new way. So that might be making note cards or putting things into some kind of graphic organizer, finding a video that goes over the same information. Um, doing something new with what you've already learned is way better than just like staring at the notes you already took. They should study. It's very good advice. Yeah. They should try to get a C or better. Yes if they want to go to college. Um, studying, go through all your old notes, go through your old handouts, go through your old reviews, and start studying early. Don't wait until the day before. Do you think we should have midterms? I do. I think it reinforces like that you don't just learn something and forget it. Like The goal is to learn it and you know, know it later on, not just for that week or that day. What do you think students should do to prepare themselves for midterms? Uh, use your study guides. Lots of gift cards. Lots of gift cards for staff. Uh, read, hydrate, get a good night's sleep. Watch Mr. Clifford. Well, it's always important to get a lot of sleep, to eat right, uh, but also to kind of manage your time and realize what type of finals you have and to chunk out your studying as much as possible so you're not cramming all in one night because if you do that, you're most likely to forget everything the next day. So space the time out and use it well while you study for your exams. What should students do to prepare for midterms? I think you should get your review packets and study hard, sleep with them, put them under your pillow, do whatever you gotta do. That will help you get through your finals. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up, live out the true meaning of its creed. Martin Luther King Jr. was born January 15, 1929. He was one of the most influential civil rights movers of the time. He is known for his I Have a Dream speech and leading the Montgomery bus boycott. youngest person to win a Nobel Peace Prize. King gave many African Americans hope for a change, for equality, and for a better society. 
Sadly, he was assassinated on April 4, 1968. He was at a hotel on his balcony in Memphis, Tennessee. Many Americans felt the need to commemorate his death, so on November 2, 1983, President Ronald Reagan signed to make the third Monday of January MLK Day. People celebrate this day in different ways. Some volunteer at different locations, others go to different memorial sites throughout the U.S. Prunes. 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 Apricot. Apricot, your line is prunes, Jaden. It's just one up. word. On, What's wrong? Oh my gosh. Prunes. Perfect. Prunes. Prunes. So what do you think? <laughs> it's funny, George, yeah. yeah. But it's prudence. It's prudence, Tyler. It's prudence. Prudence, not okay. prunes. Okay. But yeah. oh. um, I think if you guys can fix that up for tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> we might be able to air it. Yeah. Tomorrow? I don't think tomorrow? we can air it unless you guys fix it up. Do you guys even know what being prudent is? Absolutely not. Do you know what it means? Uh -uh. No, okay. Okay, let's look it up. Okay, yeah. Okay, um, prudence. Prudence, yeah. Yeah, um, it's the quality of being prudent. Prudent, George, pr we have to be prudent. Still don't know that one. Nope, no clue. <laughs> no, no, no. I like that one. Like, no. Oh. Showing care and thought for the future. Oh, to show oh, George, it would have been prudent of us to start this video a week ago. Uh, well, GB, you know, in the future, just be prudent, okay? I don't know what you guys did, but this is a thousand times worse than yesterday. Okay. Well, so. it's cheeks. Hey GB, I'm Connor and these are your Dubs of the Week. All of basketball competed against Powers Catholic last Friday. Both freshman teams won 54 to 16 and 79 to 20. For JV, the girls won 58 to 8 and the boys won 64 to 49. Next, boys varsity won 64 to 49 and the girls edged out a 31 to 35 victory. On Monday, boys freshman battled Clarkston and won 57 to 36. On Tuesday, the JV and varsity girls went to Saginaw, winning 43 to 17 and 42 to 22 respectively. The freshman girls also beat Bay City 42 to 10. In the pool last Friday, boys varsity swimming won with a score of 142 against Lapeer. Good luck to all the basketball teams, competitive cheer, varsity bowling, varsity wrestling, and varsity hockey this weekend.
My name is RJ Taylor. I'm a freshman and I play point guard. I grew up playing basketball my entire life. I grew up in a basketball family. There's a ball always around and I just fell in love with it. So far, um, probably our win against Frederick Douglass, our first full game of the year. We got we had a close win against one of the top teams in the state. Being the best team that we can be, um, going as far as we can and ultimately winning a state championship. I just think it's the family aspect that me and my teammates are like brothers and we've got each other's back. What motivates me to play is just my passion for the game. Just that every day and every time I pick up a basketball, it just gets me going. I really look up to my parents just for always supporting me and being there for me when things aren't so good and when things are going well, they're always there for me. Hi, my name is Amante Allen Johnson. I'm in a, a ninth grade class of 2023 and my, I play point guard position. I've been playing basketball since I was like four or five years old, basically my whole life. My favorite moment was going to going to Chicago, you know, uh, chilling with my teammates in a hotel and stuff like that, having fun, and getting a dub. in Class A State Championship my first year, so, yeah. Uh, the people, uh, how open they are with like uh, friendships, coaches, my teammates, yeah, it's pretty fun, pretty cool. Where I come from, you know, just making it out, so. Uh, my mom, I look up to my mom because like she's a single, and stuff so you know I look up to her she's my role model Hi, I'm Dave Paget. I'm Maggie Nikai. I'm Alex Softrack. Hi, I'm Bryce. I teach the three engineering courses here at Grand Blank as well as modern tech. engineering class is primarily a design class. This class is about picking a project to work on throughout the school year and completing it. Generally improving upon engineering one, i.e. drawing, and in engineering two we start to actually build stuff and get back in the shop. We deal with the language of engineering so that uh, people can take concepts and create a set of directions or a set of blueprints that would allow someone to uh, build whatever their concept is. Uh, so really the biggest pro is it's you know obviously at your own uh, pace you get to control how you want the your experience to be but really the hardest part is uh, making sure you stay on task. Uh, while we have the entire year to work on this project it's hard it's easy to get um, off task really quick. A lot less conversations with the teacher like he won't just come up to you and ask you if you're getting the work done. You just have to do it yourself. The work environment is just you come in, you do what you need to. If the environment allows you to, like, for example, if uh, the teacher's lecturing to another class, you can't really work in the shop. But other days, it's just chill and you can work in the shop and do what you need to to get the project done. So some of the ways that engineering would be used, uh, particularly 
just in our own little world. In my modern tech class, the kids design and build these CO2 race cars. One of the biggest problems they have is drawing the wheels accurately. And so this would be an example of a CAD print that would be something that an Engineering One student can do. Another project that is regular in Engineering Two is designing a universal joint. I built it by hand myself. Basically, part of the guitar is made of wood, and then the other part of the guitar is made of um, a certain type of plastic. And so a kid last year in Engineering One designed this holder for all the tools necessary for drilling and tapping. And so this year, that same kid will be using the tools out of the box that he organized. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.